Hey, it's just Coach Wilson here, and I've got a little challenge for you guys. How long can you hold a plank for? Now, you've probably seen the challenges on Facebook, the 30 day planks challenge, and all these challenges that are touted about, and you know, you do a plank a little bit longer each and every day, and that's all great, but most people are doing the plank completely wrong and it's causing them back pain and it's not helping them progress um, in terms of making their tummy pull in because right we want flat abs don't we we want a toned tummy well if you're doing the exercise wrong not only do you end up with uh, lower back pain you also end up getting nowhere for the time and effort that you've been putting in so let me teach you how to do a plank and then post in the comments below how long you lasted doing it it's going to be a lot less than you might think you can already do a plank okay so when we do a plank a lot of people will do every step right down on their forearms shoulders over the elbows and walk out the common two mistakes that we tend to see from off, off from the back is the arse up in the air like this, okay? So the weight's going through the hamstrings and the heels, or your arse down here and hyperextending the spine and compressing the lower back. Both are mistakes, okay? So we don't want to see this. We don't want this. What we want is the elbows under the shoulders. We want to be on our toes and we want to lift our hips so they're at shoulder height, okay? Now, once you're in that position, this is the best bit. I want you to pull your belly button in towards your spine as if someone's about to punch you in the gut. You're gonna brace those abs. So the whole time that you're holding that plank, you're not just sitting there, because most people, when they just hold the plank, especially after 30 seconds, they just sit on their lower back, and this is where it starts to hurt your back, okay? So it doesn't matter necessarily how long you can do a plank, it's how good you're doing that plank. And, you know, I call it the hard style version of holding a plank. What we want to be looking for is pulling that belly button in towards the spine, like somebody's about to punch you in, in the gut, you're gonna brace the abs. So have that little visual in your head. Somebody's about to punch you in the gut, you're gonna tense up those abs, right? And now the challenge is to do that in the plank. All of a sudden, you'll notice you'll be trembling. This is exactly what we want to see. So, forearms, toes out, hips and over the shoulders. If you squeeze your, your quads and your bum cheeks, it'll put those hips in that right position. And now pull that belly button in like somebody's about to put you in the gut. All of a sudden, it completely transformed the way that you've been doing the plank. So give it a go and then post below how many seconds you lasted. So set yourself a timer. How many seconds did you last? Post in the comment section below. All of a sudden you'll realize, oh, I've been doing the plank completely wrong. This is the way you're gonna do it from now on. Um, pull that belly button in, brace the abs. If you are trembling, you're doing it right. If you're not, you're doing it wrong. Give it a go, comment below.